Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Al Zero and this is I am Setsuna. Last time we played we went through Magna Valley. We saw the ruins, the cool ruins, but the symbol on the ruins was that of Roy Royberg. So we came back to Royberg and they were under attack by a lot of monsters. And we saved the children. And we got saved by Eterna after we defeated the boss. So now let's find out what happened to her. Come on, you got some explaining to do. Nighter, stop. Eterna isn't our enemy. How sure about that are you exactly? What do you think, Ender? Um, why did you disappear? Well, that took me by surprise too. But I can't tell you why it happened yet. For your sakes and for my own. You really expect us to trust you after a hack-cocked answer like that? I... I trust you. Welcome back, Eterna. Satsuna. I swear I will take you to the Lost Lands. I swear it. No matter what happens. I know. I've known all along. Phew. Well, this whole thing sure is a big mystery. But you ain't lying. I could tell that much. And so can Ender. I've trusted you. I've trusted you all along anyway. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Otsilas. I heard you were here from here. Wait, hold on. I heard you were here from one of those nights. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. I have not been outside in a long time. Oh, you're Julian's childhood friend, aren't you? We've taken care of most of the monsters near here. You shouldn't have to live in fear anymore. For the moment, at least. And we'll find Julian, too, I promise. Thank you. I am counting on you. By the way, your ancestors must have had something to do with the royal family, too, right? Well, sort of, but... There's something we have to ask you about. Or something we want to ask you, then. What do you know about airships? <laughs> Tell us about the royal crest. The royal crest? I do not know about it. But I have heard that long ago the crest passed, possessed a sacred power. There are some ruins that have the crest engraved at their entrance. Do you know how we can get inside? I have heard it tell of a hidden place that is somehow connected to the royal family. Do you know how to get inside? That I do. It is spoken of in legends passed down in our village. Really? However, I do not think it would be possible now. Why not? Because the seal on that gate can only be opened by one with royal blood. Royal blood, eh? We need Julian. What happened to her anyway? You said something about finding her. After you disappeared, she went off somewhere too. Anyway, looks like we're not getting anywhere until we find Julian. Julian, where are you? But how are we going to go about looking for her? I don't have the slightest idea where to start. Let's just go and check on those children again instead. I feel sorry for them being stuck inside all this time. You've grown up a lot since you li I last saw you, Kerr. Huh? You think? I don't think I'm any different. I agree with Kerr. Come on, let's head back in to where the children were. Okay. Alright. Um, I need to figure out what team I'm rocking. I guess I'm rocking the team I'm, I've been rocking before I learned my triple text because, um, yeah. But first, I need to give Gangrith to Niter. Uh, wait, did I give new, new stuff to him? One slash, get rid of Avenger. Oh, Demonic Strike! Provoke, no, I need that. Double back, don't need that. Gangrith, boom. All right, there, go check on the children. Maybe Demonic Strike will give me some new tech. Look, it's the princess, friends. Is the princess back yet? Sorry, not yet. Oh, oh, well, we'll just wait here and sing. The princess taught us this song, you know. Oh, Julian did, did she? That's right. The princess is great at singing. Will you sing it for me then? Sure. One, two, three. Oh, is this going to be the song that teaches me where to go?
That was a nice song. Snow, snow, oh tell me snow, the bird in the valley, when will she fly? Oh to return to the royal gate, oh to soar over the sky. Snow, snow, oh falling snow, oh to return to that time. This song is something about it. Yeah, I agree. Something about it. Which part? The bird in the valley. Yes, I think so too. If the valley of the song is Magna Valley, then maybe there's something about that line, the bird in the valley. Maybe it signifies something else, something else that flies through the sky like a bird. I do get the feeling that song has something to do with all of this. But even if it does, I don't see how us analyzing a children's rhyme is going to help anything. Oh yeah, that's the Spider Researcher. Yes, right. There might be some sort of record in an old document or something. The more information we have about the Royal Valley, the better. Let's go pay the aspiring researcher a visit. Alright, was he from this village? I think, oh yeah, I think he's in the house all the way on the left. Sweet, alright. Um, Weppy, do you, Weppy and Tally, do you have anything new? No! I need better weapons, damn it. I haven't had new weapons in friggin' a while. Uh, oh, he's in here. Oh, I remember I gave this guy the papyrus voice. Excuse me, we want to ask you something about a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme? Oh, the one the children always sing, you mean? The song's lyrics are said to show its writer's nostalgia for the royal capital. Their desire to one day fly across the sky and return there. So is it just about a bird after all? But even if that's the case, flying back across the sky is impossible for humans. Yeah, so it's a sad song because it is impossible. So it's like, uh, so it's like they at least want their thoughts to return to their homeland. But the words of the song, "The bird in the valley, when will she fly?" Don't you think it's like, it, do you think it's like there's a sense of hope behind those words, a sense of waiting for something? I think the bird's a metaphor. I think there's a freaking airship in there. A metaphor for something else that flies you mean? Like an airship? It's certainly not impossible. Legend has it that back in the time of the kingdom's fall, by chance the queen and a select few of her retainers were away on the royal airship and thus survived. You don't think they could have hidden the airship in the ruins of inside Magna Valley, do you? Maybe so that's they wouldn't be pursued by the foe who destroyed their kingdom. So, what do you think? There's no way of saying for certain, but personally, I'd say there's definitely a very good possibility that's the case. So there isn't just Bright Knight in the ruins? There's a whole airship? And a royal one too? Akash blow his top if he heard this. All I'm saying is that it's possible. I've known the nursery wrong since I was a little boy, so it never occurred to me before. And of course, until the spatial distortion disappeared, we weren't even able to get to Magna Valley. So we just need to find Julian and get inside the ruins. Then, once we find the royal airship, then we'll be able to cross the vanished lands? Alright! Things are looking up! But it was Julian who chose to stay away from us. And in the state she was in. We can worry about that later. Oh, we can worry about that later. The other one was seemed ruder. Yes, I think so too. Either way, we need to find Julian. She's one of us, and she means the world to all the people of the village, too. So first, we need to find Julian. Right. We can do anything else until we do. We can't do anything else. Come on, let's go and look for Julian. On the way, we can go tell old man Akash about the royal airship. Alright. Please let me get Julian back. She's like a pivotal part of my triple tech. <gasps> oh, it's Akash. Akash, and all the knights. Ah, you are here. Oh, that's the old man. Oh, you are here. What happened? Looks like some of your knights are injured. Ugh, we've been to hell back. Hold on, hold on. What was the voice again? <clears throat> Damn it, I forgot it already. We've been to say the hell back. It is because of that Julian, she. Sir, kindly hold your tongue. Where's Julian? 
I am afraid I could not tell you that. Given the circumstances, I'd say this was an emergency, wouldn't you? You didn't stand a chance by yourselves, right? If you don't let us help, the situation will only get worse. Please tell us. We might be able to help. With the spatial distortions gone, we were on guard against monsters invading from other regions. I led our troops into Magna Valley, and it was there we found Lady Julian. And what remains of her? Is Julian safe? No, I am afraid she is not what you would call safe. Her Highness is no longer Her Highness. Upon noticing us, she suddenly rose to her feet and attacked us. Cloaked in the sinister aura, she seemed more monster than human. Julian... And so, left with no other alternative, we used a restraining spell to contain her there. However, its effects shall not last long. Her Highness, Lady Julian, is in great pain. Her incredible magical energy has something to do with what's happening to her, doesn't it? Do you want to save her? How can you say such a thing? Of course I wish to save her. Then tell us everything before it's too late. We have already done everything we can. Very well, I shall tell you. Most likely it's due to the blood of the monster. Huh? Lady Julian consumed the blood of a monster. What? Why? Isn't monster blood highly poisonous? Indeed it is. Most humans would die instantly if they consumed it. But in some rare cases, there are those to whom it instead grants great power and life force. Her Highness is one such example. A long time ago, when went out slaying monsters, Her Highness was left stranded by an avalanche. We heard it was a rescue, a knight who didn't get away in time, right? Indeed. Her Highness was left teetering on the very edge of life and death. In order to survive, she had no choice but to consume the blood of a monster. It was because of her fierce will, her undying determination to see her kingdom restored. Yeah, alright. We get the picture, so it's the effects of the mon on so it's the effect of the monster blood. That's what's given her that superhuman magical energy. Her highness survived and returned to the village. We all rejoiced, of course. However, in exchange for that incredible magic energy, the monster's blood began to transform her into a monster herself. Her highness mental state has become progressively worse. On occasion, her mental distortions cause her to show extreme cruelty and ruthlessness. I fear her highness may never return to her former self. And so, I have prepared myself to die together with her. I shall continue my service and to her in the afterlife. No one's dying just yet, old man. Right now, we need to help Julian. Don't worry, we'll get Julian back to her old self. When I think of Her Highness's pain, I... I... Okay, so how do I save her? Can I just, like, defeat the dark energy? Do I have to absorb it? Release it? Seeing as you told him we were going to save her, I take it you've got some sort of plan? Come on, what else could I say, given the circumstances? Exactly. Anyway, we need to get Julian back to normal no matter what. If we don't, we won't be able to enter the ruins. But if her transformation has already progressed this far, will there really be any way we can cure her? Uh, God, kill Julian. What? Find someone to cure her. <gasps> the old lady! Looks like we ain't got no other choice. It's easy enough to say that, but finding someone isn't going to be that simple. Treating a human who's turning into a monster isn't something just anyone can do, is it? What we need to do is find someone who can cure Julian. Mm, easier said than done. We don't know anyone who's good at that sort of thing, do we? Yeah, Sayaka. Or Say I forgot her name right. Yeah, we do. We know just the person. Someone who specializes in healing magic. Sayagi, there you go. That's right, Sayagi did call herself a healer after all. She already cured Julian once too. Sayagi did help cure Julian before. Maybe it's worth talking to her. Come on, let's go back to Gatherington. Alright. Gotta go oh man, I gotta go all the way back to Gatherington? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're gonna go through Magna Valley though. And then we might actually see where Julian is being sealed. Um before we do that, let's save it because I don't want to accidentally like get into a fight with her because I <laughs> I walked up to her when I wasn't supposed to. Um, this one's called Lost Comrades. Yeah. Save that. Alright. 
gotta go back to Gatherington. I just want to see what. I want to see where she is. Is she like? Is she near the gate, just being sealed? Um, stick by, stick by, stick by. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Oh no, <gasps> bird, rare bird, rare bird. Get it. Low beat. Booyah. There we go. I got a debuff kill on something. Ooh, look at that. 1287. That wasn't with the food. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Um, man, I I honestly don't know how, how much left of the game there is because there's so much stuff that I don't know what to do. Like, there's still the sealed chest. That's one mystery. There's, um, there's those weird square patterns. Oh, my God. Julie, no! Oh, that sucks hard, man. Hang in there just a little longer. <laughs> Julian, we'll save you, girl. I'm not gonna leave you. You're very pivotal in my party. I love you so much. I love you. Not not like that, though. I got said soon that she's my girl. But sorry. So I do have a couple theories on Aeterna, and this is just theories. Uh, and I have no, and I have no proof or any kind of, uh, um, any kind of information to back this up. But what if, because she's all about time magic, what if, um, sh oh, bird, 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 let me get the bird. Uh, what if Eterna is the future child of Ender and Setsuna, possibly? What if, what if she's the future child? What if? This journey, she's just meant to make sure that it it is uh, it goes through, so that Setsuna doesn't have to sacrifice herself and whatever it, uh, whatever it is that causes the enemies to stop spawning, doesn't happen. They go around this guy because they can't fight this guy. Don't run into him. Don't run into him. Don't run into him. Um, I have no I have no facts to prove otherwise, other than her time magical abilities, but. What if she? What if she disappeared because something like you know, seeing the last lines, uh, stopped her from existing for a second? I have no idea. Like I said, I I one I haven't looked up anything beyond where I'm at. I haven't looked up anything that would spoil me on this game, but that's just what I've been thinking is poss is a possibility. Is uh, is Aterra could just I mean, she might be? I don't know. We'll see. It's probably not. It's probably not. But you know, it, that could be a twist. I'm, I'm calling it here. Maybe Eterna is the da the daughter of Ender and Setsuna. All right, old lady, we need your help. I need to save my most one of my most powerful teammates. It's our companion, Julian. She's in real trouble, so we've come to ask you for your help. So it is. It is as I feared. I didn't sense it faintly the first time I met her. I thought her that her magical energy was different from that of a human. Please heal Julian. Of course, I could cure her, then I would. I cannot stop her transformation. It is far beyond my power. So there's nothing left we can do? You misunderstand. I merely said it was beyond my power. Huh? What do you mean? What I mean is that I do have an idea of someone who might be able to help her. Just one person, mind you. Really? There is a spell that can drive out the evil influences of a monster. If you use it, you may well be able to control her transformation. Who is this person? There is no need to look far. The spell of which I speak may only be used by one who is worthy. One who possesses both noble spirit and great selflessness. I am talking about you, Setsuna. Me? But I, I don't know any spell like that. No, of course you do not. I am going to teach it to you. However, learning this spell carries with it a significant risk. What do you mean? If not learned properly, its force will be returned upon the caster. And if that happens, death is certain. But you are the sacrifice. Many lives and futures rest upon your shoulders. It is possible that you may end up needlessly throwing away your own life to try and save just one. I don't think I would. it would be needless. And anyway... I know I shall reach the last lands no matter what. I'll be fine. So please, tell me how I can save Julian. Here, take this. 
You've seen the power drain, Sprite Knight. What's this? Sprite Knight has lost its power. Now, we are going to imbue it with a new power. A power that will allow us to bring back the young lady's spirit and life force. This is our last chance to save her. You must simply do one thing. Use your healing powers to endure my light elemental magic attacks. You must show me your determination, your will. Use my healing powers to endure your light elemental magic? I understand, Sayagi. I can do it. I know I can. Very well. Come outside. Oh, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna run her ultimate attack or something? This will be cool. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh! Um. Um. Inspire. Just get my attack up. Just get my attack up. Do I have to attack her? Or do I just have to survive? Do I actually have to defeat her? I probably should have saved before I did this. She just said I had to I survive her light elemental attacks. Um I'm just gonna cure. I don't I don't trust this fight. Like I just want I just wanna survive. But I don't know if I actually have to defeat her. Um okay. Fine, I'm gonna sanctity here. Oh yeah, see look it, it doesn't do nothing. I'm just supposed to survive. She's just can constantly hitting me with light magic. Come on, bring it, old lady. I got what I need. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling she's gonna do like a very, very good, just a little longer. Okay, here. Yeah. I like kind of scripted battles like these. Um, I like when they when they do them right. Uh, so, because you could tell, like, before the battle even began, I was just like, wait, do I have to attack her? Because she, because I, 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 what she said stuck in my mind when this battle began. She said I just had to survive her onslaught. So, attacking her, I was just like, uh, do I attack her or do I just have it? I just survive. And that was right, because when I attack her, it doesn't do anything. <gasps> yes! Yes! I am, yeah! Absorb that power! Please tell me she has a new ultimate attack. Oh no! Hey, hey, are you alright, Setsuna? I'm fine. I just feel a little weak. Hmm. That much is to be expected until you are accustomed to the spell. It simultaneously produces both a powerful, evil repelling attack and sacred healing energy. The power drain. <gasps> Luminaire! Holy shit! Wow, I wouldn't be able to pull that off in a million years. Me neither. Thank you very much, Sayagi. I have nothing left to teach you. The rest is up to you. I shall be praying for your good fortune. <gasps> Setsuna learned Luminaire! Holy shit, I thought Ender would have learned that. But no. Alright, you know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Ender in the seed. What? Well, let me see. I need to see. What what can I do? Sprite Knight. Where's Luminaire? Lightning, get out of here. Loop Freak Supernova, Coupe de Gras, Grand Cross. I, I just want to know how what what people do I need for it? Let's let's go to the Snow Chronicles real quick and see. Um let's see, where is where is it? Where is the Magic Consortium? Oh yeah, here we go. Luminaire, 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 Luminaire. Where is it? Tell me about it. I need to know. Uh, I'll probably should start at the top because she's close to the top too. Um, there it is. Luminaire. Uh, it doesn't tell me about dual text. Damn it, I'm gonna have to look it up because, oh, there's gotta be some triple tech that you can do with Luminaire. All right, we're gonna save Julian next time.